Hey everyone, Dom here. My virtual escape is such a brilliantly made show. The blood, sweat, and tears poured into it can be seen and felt throughout. There are so many wonderful scenes and I of course have some personal favorites. However, there is one scene in particular that stuck with me. And in this video, I would like to go into detail as to why I feel that this scene changed my virtual escape from then on. If you like this type of content, maybe consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot, and any support helps me tremendously. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. If you were to go back and watch the first season of My Virtual Escape, you could easily mistake it for a completely different show. The show was more comical, campier, and hadn't exactly found its footing yet. Despite the show's shift in tonality, one thing is established from the get-go. Isaac is a troubled teenager facing a tough time in his life. We are made aware of his parents' divorce, which contributes greatly to his depression. However, the show hints towards something else, something that would remain a mystery until the season 3 episode titled Little Gangbanger. A lot has happened up until this point in the story. Isaac had talked his Aunt Martha out of an overdose, Mary too unfortunately passed away due to cancer, Isaac had just returned to his world after experiencing the events of The Devil Inside's first season, and Rebecca had joined Isaac and Arachnid's team, working alongside them in order to plan a heist on Solomon's. Earlier in the episode, Isaac saves Rebecca from Malachi, and saves Leah from her abusive drunk father. He manages to return home, only to find that a mysterious car had pulled into his driveway. He's met with one of Solomon's brothers, relaying a message to meet the mob boss in real life. The next day, Isaac arrives at the spot he was told to meet with Solomon. Instead, a little girl takes a seat next to him. Isaac explains that he's waiting for somebody, which is when the little girl reveals herself to be just the person Isaac was looking for. Solomon. Outside of Eve, is actually a little girl. She recounts parts of her backstory, informing Isaac that she is aware of the heist. In an act of desperation, she begs him to call it off, and for her life to be spared. She asks Isaac if they are friends, stating, You know, I've never had a brother. It seems as though this resonates with Isaac, as he agrees to call off the attack soon after. Later on in the game, Isaac tries to delay the plan and call it off while getting a bit physical with Arachnid, and he asks Rebecca if they could talk privately. Isaac tells Rebecca that things have changed. They can't proceed with the heist. He explains that Solomon is only a little girl and he promised not to kill her. Rebecca asks how is he going to beat the game, and most importantly, if he can't kill Solomon, how is he going to kill her? A bit later into the scene, Isaac begins to emotionally break down. It's revealed to the audience that he lost his little sister when she was only young. He was expected to look after her. He sees Eve as an escape away from everything. And his sister fought the world of him. He thinks his sister's death is his fault and wants to use his wish to bring her back. But he's not going to kill a little girl in exchange for her. We're then treated to a beautiful, yet depressing montage of Isaac and his sister that really tugs on your heartstrings. I think this is a scene that changed my virtual escape from there on. From a beautiful one-on-one -on -one between Isaac and Rebecca, to learning more of Isaac as a person, alongside his long-term goals and ambitions, I feel as though this scene succeeds in adding depth to his overall character. I think it sets a definitive tone for the series going forward as well. Jesse's acting and portrayal of the character was phenomenal here, and conveyed the monologue perfectly. I never failed to tear up at this scene on every rewatch. It's not only what I consider to be the best scene in the entire show, but what I also consider to be the best scene in Jesse's entire career. And it all makes the ending of the series more heartwarming when you see them truly unite. That's all for me today. There are so many glimmering moments throughout my virtual escape, but out of all of them, this one will always hold true as my favorite. 
I hope you all enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I've noticed that most of you aren't subscribed, and it'd be awesome if you stick around. I got some big videos on the back burner currently, along with some other planes that I can't wait to share with you. I'm Dom, and I hope you have a good one. Fun times.